Hi folks, we are today out from wild camp again and today we are in the beautiful Glen Etif here in the Scottish Highlands and we are heading more precise to the river Etif with Robert together and the reason is that we are doing a low level wild camp today next to a river is because the weather is pretty drich or rubbish yeah. we have like low hanging clouds, fog on the hills and the wind speeds should be around 50 to 60 kilometers per hour on top so there's a reason why we decided we would just head for a low level wild camp and it's a pretty lovely area, usually busy and we are trying to avoid the busyness through heading here through the forest, behind the forest and hopefully there's where we are alone. So let us continue. Ah, such a shame. Um, we can't camp here according to the sign. The spot is so good. Nah, yeah. But we have a look that we go now here along the path. Maybe we find another nice spot. We saw a couple spots before. Look, not too bad. But this spot would have been a dream. Wonder why it's not allowed. But anyway, let us continue. And we are planning now to camp over here. But we have the river crossing in front of us and it's pretty quick flowing. So, yeah. We need to have a look how we're doing it. Um, but yeah, we give it a go because we want to have the fuse um, here, direction, uh, the bookie. And there are a lot of flat spots which seems to be pretty good for camping. Let's get started. Yeah, and this one looks like more or less like the perfect spot. It's more or less flat and we have great views behind us. I think it's really photogenic. Then we fear a huge waterfall and here we have the river Ettich. Absolutely stunning. So let us put up the tent. It started a bit raining, but this will be quick.
All right, folks, that's me now set up the tent. Obviously, it stopped more or less with raining when we finished setting up our tent. I left so the quilt as well as my um, changing clothes in the dry bag so they don't get soaked with the humidity we're having when it's always raining every so often. Um, I will enjoy now a little bit the fuse. And here comes the rain again, how it pulls through the valley. It's pretty impressive, I think. Um, when you see the rain moving slowly to us. Over here is Robert. He pitches not too far of us. Yeah, and here, there is, you can see already rain as well. Naja. The tent isn't far. <laughs> But I love the views, it's just so beautiful. Stunning. But time to go into the tent, no need to get wet. It is just such a beautiful area Glen Etif. I mean most people here in Scotland which know Glen Etif connect probably it with um, just driving along the street or wild camping next to the street and really um, when you are willing to walk a little bit more than two minutes there is so much to explore. It's such a beautiful Glen I'm honest and I'm really surprised how beautiful it is here. So it was definitely worth coming here in the weather yeah. It's raining every so often. Um, I don't mind it, I'm honest. Yeah. Would be nice if it would rain a little bit more. I like the noise to so sleep. But it's kind of early, so. <laughs> So and I will enjoy my coffee and then hopefully the weather improves a little bit because right now the rain is always on, off, on, off, but rather on than off. Um, then we can have a look outside, but right now it's just no need for that. So it was just a short shower, but I think we should explore a little bit the area because the night will be really long. We have sunset at quarter past four and I think sunrise at 7.50 or something. So let us get out. Well, not really this much anymore to see here. And here where the river goes around, um, below the Bieloch, this is actually where already a house is. So I think we should head back um, to the tent. So folks, that's me now back in the tent and it's just too rainy outside. I will wait now a little bit and then I switch back on and we eat something. And here we have, I think this one is called Stopna Brush with Bukretiv Moor behind it. Then we have to the left side Stop Dup on Etef Berg and left of Etef Berg we have Srona Lerik and Stop Kjorn on Skrimach, which is right now in the clouds. We have now roughly 
one minute left till we have sunset. Yeah, but we won't have any sunset here. Um, so I think it's basically time that we make us something to eat. Yeah, and for dinner today, <laughs> you would have guessed it, we have pasta bolognese. A good shake. <laughs> Property. Hmm. All right, folks, that's me now in the tent, already snuggled up. We have now six o'clock. I will read now a little bit on the phones and probably watch a movie. Um, sunrise is tomorrow at 7.55 and Robert and me, we said we would leave camp at 8.30. So a really long and good night. Looking forward to this one and hey, see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Yeah, the night was pretty good. Um, we had a little breeze, but no rain. It was really warm, surprisingly warm. I would assume like eight degrees or so. So really well sheltered, good spot in the middle of Glen Etiv. But Robert and me, we will pack now our stuff slowly together and then we will head back home. And I hope you enjoyed our wild camp here in the middle of Glen Etiv. And hey, see you next time. Bye.